The James Webb Space Telescope, widely known as JWST, represents the pinnacle of human engineering and ambition in space exploration. It is not merely a telescope, but a window into the past and a probe into the unknown. Designed to see farther and clearer than any instrument before it, JWST allows scientists to examine the earliest galaxies, investigate distant planetary systems, and study the fundamental ingredients of life itself. In its short time of operation, it has already transformed astronomy and rewritten what we thought possible. Recently, this cutting-edge observatory was turned toward a star system located about 120 light-years from Earth, a cosmic neighbor on the grand scale of the universe. What it uncovered has left researchers both astonished and inspired, compelling evidence of carbon-based molecules in the atmosphere of an ocean-bearing world far beyond our solar system. That planet is K218b. Classified as a super-Earth, it is a world roughly 8.6 times more massive than Earth, orbiting a small, cool dwarf star in the constellation Leo. What makes it remarkable is not just its size or orbit, but the fact that it lies within the star's habitable zone, the region where temperatures could allow liquid water to exist. For astronomers searching for life, this is one of the most important places to look. Using its unparalleled infrared sensitivity, JWST detected methane and carbon dioxide in K218b's atmosphere, two molecules deeply tied to biological processes here on Earth. Years ago, the Hubble Space Telescope hinted that K218b could host a hydrogen-rich atmosphere with possible oceans. But JWST has now provided the clearest and most detailed picture of this alien world's skies elevating it from a possibility to a prime candidate in the search for habitability. K218b also belongs to a mysterious class of planets known as sub-Neptunes, worlds larger than Earth, but smaller than Neptune. Our solar system has none, making them an enigma in planetary science. Could these planets, so common in the galaxy yet absent in our neighborhood, be the true cradles of life beyond Earth? For many scientists, the answer is becoming increasingly likely. One of the most intriguing aspects of JWST's observation is the potential detection of dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. On Earth, this compound is produced almost entirely by marine plankton, tiny organisms that thrive in our oceans. Its presence on K218b is not confirmed, but even a hint of such a molecule has sparked enormous excitement. If further studies validate it, this could mark one of the most significant milestones in the history of astrobiology, the first detection of a possible biosignature on a planet orbiting another star. Yet, caution is necessary. K218b is not Earth. Its diameter is 2.6 times greater, and it may contain vast high-pressure icy layers beneath its surface. If oceans do exist there, they might be extremely deep, chemically unusual, or subjected to pressures that make life, as we understand it, difficult. Still, the detection of key molecules like methane and carbon dioxide, combined with the absence of ammonia, aligns with models predicting that this planet could indeed support liquid water. The way JWST made this discovery is as fascinating as the findings themselves. K218b is a transiting planet, meaning that from our viewpoint it occasionally passes in front of its parent star. As it does, a portion of the star's light filters through the planet's atmosphere before reaching us. JUST's instruments can separate that light into its component wavelengths, revealing the chemical fingerprints of gases present in the atmosphere. It is a technique of extraordinary precision, so precise, in fact, that it can detect faint signals from molecules across unimaginable distances. But JWST's achievements do not end with exoplanets. It has also pushed back the frontier of cosmic history. In one astonishing discovery, scientists identified complex organic compounds, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, similar to those found in smoke and soot within a galaxy that formed when the universe was just 10% of its current age. 
These molecules are massive, containing dozens or even hundreds of atoms, and their presence so soon after the Big Bang defies older models of chemical evolution. The galaxy, designated SP41847, had already accumulated a mass comparable to our own Milky Way, despite existing in the universe's infancy. This fact alone astonishes astronomers, but what deepens the mystery is the uneven distribution of complex carbon molecules scattered throughout its structure. Such irregularities raise profound questions about how galaxies formed and matured during the early epochs of cosmic history. Did these molecules arise from the violent deaths of the very first generations of stars? Were they seeded through turbulent stellar winds and supernova explosions that spread the ashes of creation across space? Or do we still lack a fundamental piece of the puzzle in understanding chemical evolution on a galactic scale? To put this discovery into perspective, the light we see from SP41847 has traveled for more than 12 billion years before finally reaching JWST's mirrors. When this light first began its journey, our solar system did not exist, Earth had not formed, and even the Milky Way was still in its youth. What JWST captured is not a picture of a galaxy as it is today, but a frozen moment from an era when stars and planets were just beginning to emerge. We are, in a very real sense, peering into the universe's childhood. These findings reshape how we think about the timeline of life's building blocks. Until recently, many scientists believed that chemical complexity, the kind that could one day lead to biology, was something that developed slowly, billions of years after the Big Bang. But Webb's observations suggest otherwise. They reveal that the universe began weaving the molecular tapestry of carbon-rich compounds far earlier than anticipated. Life's raw materials, it seems, were not a late addition to the cosmos, but a fundamental part of its unfolding story from the very beginning. Each discovery by JWST reminds us of the immensity and sophistication of the universe. It is not just about distant planets or faraway galaxies, it is about understanding our origins and our place within a larger cosmic framework. From the chemical fingerprints of alien atmospheres to the unexpected presence of organic compounds in the young universe, Webb provides insights that strike at the heart of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in this vast expanse? How quickly did the seeds of life appear? And what is the ultimate destiny of the universe itself? Every new observation carries us one step closer to answers. The detection of carbon molecules on worlds like K218b shows us that habitable conditions may be more common than once believed. Instead of being rare anomalies, planets with oceans, atmospheres, and the chemistry of life could be widespread throughout the galaxy. This possibility forces us to reimagine the cosmos not as a barren desert, but as a landscape potentially filled with diverse environments, some perhaps even teeming with life. The James Webb Space Telescope is more than an observatory. It is a time machine, a chemistry lab, and a cosmic storyteller. Its discoveries urge us to keep searching, to never settle for what we think we know, and to constantly push the limits of imagination and technology. Each faint signal of starlight it decodes is another piece of the puzzle, another page in the cosmic book of origins. As technology advances and our methods sharpen, future generations may look back at this moment as the dawn of a new era in science. The time when humanity first glimpsed the possibility of oceans hidden beneath alien skies, and organic compounds shimmering in the dawn of galaxies. Perhaps, hidden in the faint light of distant stars, we are closer than ever to discovering that life, whether microbial or intelligent, is not a rare miracle of Earth, but a natural outcome of the universe's endless creativity. If so, JWST may not only change how we see the cosmos, it may redefine what it means to be human, part of a much larger and interconnected story written across the